our very own and beloved leader, a man who needs no introduction. Thank you very much, Sammy. Thank you. Uh, I couldn't wait. Uh, it was a very nice introduction, and I am very thrilled and proud to be here today. It's been a wonderful ceremony so far. Here on behalf of our own Fred the Dorf Dorfman. Many of you don't know that Fred was darn near death recently, and uh, he wasn't ashamed to admit to me that he'd had syphilis, and thank God he stopped in his tracks. I must tell you that it takes a lot for a man to, to admit where he got it from and how he got it. And I must say, look at him today. Fred, you look just wonderful. Uh, the nose looks normal again. The face has come back into shape, and uh, it's not drooling anymore. It's a good sign. And hats off to Marge, his wife, because that whole experience there, the two or three weeks that she stayed at Trembling Hills, has paid off. No more alcohol or sedatives in her life. But there's so many other things I want to tell you about, Fred. Things that maybe many of you already know. Sammy, you're not going to sing for us, are you? <laughs> Did you know that Fred uh, spent a good deal of his life honoring a profession that has gone largely unsung around here? Some of those boys are here tonight. The profession, of course, is law enforcement. I know Fred feels this way, that too often our feelings are locked in and we feel restrained and perhaps even embarrassed to actually reach out and touch an officer of the law. After all, they are people, aren't they? So why not stand up and pat them on the back? Go ahead, reach out. Go ahead, shake hands with any one of the guys you see here, these men in blue. Hug a cop. Yeah, go ahead. I said it. Yeah, that's a wonderful feeling. I am so proud tonight. Fred is a... Oh, say, can you see? Ah. 